As you all know, we are in strength week, power week. Mobility today is going to be thread the needle, alternating. Open up our thoracic spine, a little bit of our hips and glutes. So let's take a tabletop position, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Take one hand and then just push it through, opposite side. See if you can drop that shoulder, push your hips back. This feels tremendous on my back. And then I'm gonna ask you to come up and around through. And hey, yo, we can't see it all, man. Your camera's totally above your head. How about now? Tabletop position, shoot that hand underneath, through, and then push those hips back. Mm, see if you can drop that shoulder down, stay there for a second. We're doing this for three minutes, guys, so take your time with it. Push that hand through, and then bring it up and around. Whoa, tightness in my back. Switch sides. Try not to hold your breath like I was just doing. Try to breathe naturally or normally. Get that oxygen flowing throughout the muscles. All right guys, keep it moving. So your work period this week, two exercises, one round, one set, like a super set. So today is gonna to be kettlebell swings. I'm not gonna do them actually because my back is a little bit jacked up from trying to do the finisher with you guys yesterday. But you're gonna keep that kettlebell, act like I had a kettlebell right here. Obviously you wanna keep it close to your, your zipper area, fully extend the hips, right? Brace the core, you guys know the deal. 12 reps with the kettlebell swing. <clears throat> immediately into plank up downs which is low plank position here squeeze your glutes I want to see you squeeze the glutes and tuck underneath okay and then up up down down okay now it's five each pay attention here's how you're gonna count whichever side you come up with first you're gonna come back down with first and that's gonna be your one, and you're gonna do it on the other side, right? Let me make sense of that. So it's here. One, 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 one. So right up, right down. Left up, left down. Would be one each side. And you're gonna do five each. Okay, so 12 kettlebell swings, five each, and then a 60 second rest. And then repeat, 12 swings, five up downs, 45 second rest. So those of you who have not been here this week, our rest period is gonna shrink after each set. We're doing five sets. So by the last one, you're only doing 15 second rest. And you're going right back into it. The walls are closing in, is what we like to call it here. All right, cool. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go to work. Work period. One strength exercise, one power exercise. Let me stop my share here. Your strength exercise, your strength exercise. Let me talk to you. Let me look at you when I talk to you. It's going to be a plank row. So we know what a plank is, right? This is a plank. A plank row is when you're still keeping the plank Component. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your butt underneath. One row. Pull that dumbbell low towards your waist, trying to press your hands into the floor and pull the opposite elbow back while trying to keep your hips square. You don't want to do this too much. Okay, so your hips are square. Right? Now, reps are either five slow, five each, meaning you're exaggerating that. 
and your hips are as square as possible, you're not moving them. Or there's a little bit more movement and you're doing 10 each. You're moving a little bit faster through them. Still not sloppy, obviously. So your call, either five slow or 10 fast. Uh, 10 normal, I'm not gonna say fast. That's gonna be your power exercise or your strength exercise. You're immediately gonna go into your power exercise, which is maybe a little bit awkward, um, but it's a great exercise to build those posterior muscles, posture mus muscles, help strengthen your back. Here, bend your knees, okay? You're flat on your back, elbows are by your side, and you're looking to drive your elbows into the floor. So if you were standing up, you'd be pulling your elbows back. If you were doing a cable row, or if you were doing a dumbbell row, Right? So you're shooting your elbows into the floor, trying to reach your upper body up. Try not to push your neck forward. Just use your upper back and elbows to drive in. Okay? Hold for a second, and then back down. Hold for a second, back down. Really squeezing those shoulder blades into the floor. Okay? That's going to be three your first set, and then six. And then nine, you're adding three to those each time you do them. Okay, so your set is gonna look like plank rows, five or 10, your choice. And then widow, back widows, three. And then 12 and six. And then 12 and nine. After each, you're taking a mandatory one minute rest. So finish your time, it's gonna be 12 minutes. Every minute on the minute. The goal is to get through one round of these three exercises. The V up. So we're gonna start flat on our back. Big exhale on the way up, reach and touch your toes and then back down. Okay, try to keep your back flat. Reach from your hip flexor. We're doing five, five V ups. Next up, alternating, snatch which looks like this. One dumbbell. Then the position, keeping that weight close to your body. Right, so slow motion. Right, and then switch. Trying to pull from your upper back. It's not just a front raise, okay? You're pulling from your upper back. We're doing three each. Then your last exercise is a deadlift. Whichever weight you have, you're gonna keep them close to your body, fold over at your waist. Yes, my back is jacked up. And on the way up, squeeze your glutes, okay? Push your hips back, flat back, boom on the way up. You guys know to deal with deadlifts. Seven, so I'll put it in the chat. Five, three each, and seven. I may adjust those reps. What's so funny? 